right, my name's Danielle, this is Jen. Hey! We're both technicians here at Sackbet Hospital. Um, today we're just going to show you how to put on some muzzles. I have two kinds here, I have this cloth kind and then I have the basket muzzle here. Um, this is our little patient, Al Roy, he's Jen's dog, he's going to be uh, modeling with us today. Um, so with muzzles, a lot of people find them intimidating, um, but really what they are for is um, protect, protection for us, for you guys and for the patients as well. Um, I think it's really important that we use these when, they, um, when required, um, and also just know that they're not intended to be used to harm the dog or anything like that. Um, like they are portrayed to be. So I'm just going to show you how to put it on because they can be a little bit confusing. Um, so let's start with this cloth one first. So, thank you. With this cloth one, um, it can be a bit confusing. So you can adjust it right up the top here. Um, once you put it around their head, you can adjust accordingly. So um, just make sure that when you put it on, we have the long section at the back and the short section at the front. Um, if you do it this way with the long section on the top, it's going to be back to front and it's not going to go too well. So usually we like to come behind the patient um, with someone distracting. Just keep them calm because um, we don't like them to get upset. So we come behind and then scoop it just like that. And then we tie it at the back around their ears and adjust accordingly. As you can see, it fits pretty snug there. Um, and then you can see that the protection's there, he's not going to bite us, um, and you guys, it's pretty safe, and then we can go ahead and do what we need to do. And when you're done, just unclip it at the top, pull it right off, and there you go, works pretty well. So there's the cloth one for you. And then we also have the basket muzzle. I'll just see what I'm with you there. Maybe you just want to see. <laughs> so this one's a little different, um, it does the same thing, but this one's more breathable. I like it um, for patients that are panting and things like that, because um, they can still open their mouth in here, but we're still protected, they're not going to bite us. Um, and with these we can put things like Easy Cheese here, um, we can put this in there to keep them distracted, peanut butter and things like that. Um, just helps to calm them down, because it's very stressful again sometimes. Some patients deal with the vet visit different to others. So with this one, it's the same, um, just except that um, it's not snap-on, it's kind of like a belt. You put it through and then um, put it through one of the notches there. Um, and again, the long side goes underneath and the short side stays on top. So when we put it on, <laughs> I'm always tired today. So we slip it on just like that um, and then tie it at the back of the head accordingly to how tight they are. Um, you do want it pretty snug. If it's not on tight enough, it's just going to fall right off and there's, there's no point putting it on. Um, so you can put it on a little bit tighter than, than um, the collar would be. Um, and that's completely fine because it's not going to come off and that's what we want. Um, and then again... You can't, he's not going to pant, but <laughs> if he was panting, this would be perfect because he could do it freely. Um, and again, no one's getting bitten here, so it's perfect. Um, it's just a matter of which one um, which one you prefer to use. But again, this one slips right off. And they're both pretty easy to clean as well. Um, we usually just wash them in the sink where you can put them. Um, these ones you can put in the wash. But these ones we just wash in the sink. Um, and then, but with this one, you can't really use treats and stuff. So I personally prefer, prefer basket muzzles, but it depends um, on who you are. So. That is how you put on a muzzle.